The Prime Minister also announcing that a special rapporteur will be appointed to see if there are any other security gaps that need to be filled and that may, down the road, lead to a public inquiry. Consultations will also begin for a foreign agent registry and immediately a counter foreign interference coordinator will be created within Public Safety Canada. Well, with more on the announcement made this evening, we're now joined by Mark Gerritsen. He is Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader, also the Liberal MP for Kingston and the Islands in Ontario. And Alexandre Bouliris is the Deputy Leader for the NDP and the Member of Parliament for Rosemont La Petite Patrie. Hello to the two of you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, Mr. Gerritsen, I'll ask you to start us off. This is not the full independent public inquiry that the opposition has been calling for. Why this route? Well, I mean, I think that the Prime Minister um, takes the matter very seriously. He understands that Canadians are very much interested and they want to see uh, um, uh, this conducted in a manner that is open and transparent. And I think that our goal from the beginning has always been to remove the politics from this. So what you're seeing today uh, in the appointment uh, that will be coming soon of an independent expert to look into this is we will uh, allow that person to make the decision of what the best course of action is moving forward. Um, and the Prime Minister said in his statement he's committed to accepting the recommendations that come forward that way. So um, we've always been concerned about the um, uh, politics that can get involved and the length of time that it can take to do a public inquiry. It has always been our preference to ensure that this stuff, uh, the, the very important and sensitive information that would come about in this process process would be properly protected. That's why we've always advocated to put this in the hands of NSICOP. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we, we also respect the fact that Canadians really uh, want have an, a vested interest in this, as they should. And so Canadians need to be assured of uh, what uh, is going on. And through the appointment of this independent expert that we'll see in the coming days, uh, the Prime Minister is committed to ensuring that Canadians get to see that. Uh, Mr. Bouladis, uh, I'm wondering what you make of this strategy. Again, not the uh, independent public inquiry that you've been asking for, but really this whole uh, suite of other measures to address election integrity. Does that help uh, create a bit more calm that this is being handled properly? Um, not, not really. We, uh, you know, the, 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 it's a disappointment today because we, we the NDP, we tabled a motion and we asked for you know, a full independent public in inquiry because it's a, it's a really important matter for, for all Canadians and Quebecers, all citizens, you know. We're talking about our democracy, our electoral system, the confidence of the citizens uh, with the, our institutions. Uh, it cannot be more important than, than that in the, in the democratic society. So why not have a full public transparent inquiry to reinstore the confidence of, of Canadians, of citizens, uh, with our electoral process. Because it's really, it's a, it's a huge question. Do, do other states are doing things like that? How the social media are used to influence our, our election and the vote of the, of, uh, the, the people that we represent? Uh, and now, you know, the, the National Security Committee is an important tool but it's going to be in camera, so it's going to be secrets, not transparent at all. How can you restore the confidence of citizens if it's it, it, everything is in secret? Oh, okay, but Mr. Boris, you know, I guess one of the concerns here is that with a public inquiry, it might descend into nothing more than political theater, and wouldn't that actually play into the hands of uh, foreign players who actually want to destabilize Canadian democracy? You know. You, you, can, you can play smart. You can have an open discussion about the influence of other states in our democracy and in, in our, in our elections, but you can also have parts that is, are in, in, in camera. Because, of course, when you say what you know, you say also what you don't know, and others will listen and they will, they will uh, make, take advantage of that. So, Part of this public inquiry could have been, you know, uh, uh, keep in, in secret to, uh, to uh, our national security. But now, like, almost everything will be in secret. So how can you reassure people when, you, uh, when they don't know exactly uh, what, what is the, the deep of the problem that we're talking about? If I can okay. jump in very quickly. Yes, of course. I, I think it's important to reflect on the fact that all of the experts, the national security experts that have come forward, CSIS, RCMP, everybody that came forward to uh, the parliamentary committee that's currently studying this, all reported that, the, that they believe the best manner for this to occur is uh, behind 
behind the, um, or within the committee um, that is established to do this, which is the uh, NSICOP, the national, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a parliamentary, a com committee made up of parliamentarians that is tasked with studying this very important stuff. I think it's important to point out that these are parliamentarians and senators that sit on this committee. They're members from the NDP, members from the Conservative, Liberal, uh, senators that sit there. Um, so it's not as though it's, it's, it, there's no accountability at all. But having said all of that, I think we need to move beyond that now because we, the Prime Minister has said he wants to put this in the hands of an independent expert that he will appoint in the coming days to make the determination where the best place uh, to have this uh, this discussion is. So, okay. I mean, I think that the Prime Minister is taking an active role here in trying to remove the politics from this, which I think is what Canadians are after. Well, you know, when you speak of Canadians, though, Mr. Garrettson, there was that Nanus poll, you know, it's 60% yep. of Canadians believe this country is doing either a poor or very poor job of protecting Canada from foreign interference. So if this is also about restoring confidence, how does that confidence get restored without true transparency, without doing it in the open as the oppos opposition MPs are asking for? Does that not ultimately hurt your party if you don't give that to Canadians who have lost faith that, that enough is being done to protect the system? So we have to find the balance between what is uh, uh, the, the, the best way to handle the very sensitive information and at the same time provide that security that Canadians are searching for? Because I, I, I recognize that, that Canadians do want to see that and I, and I know that the Prime Minister sees that as well. That's why, again, I go back to the independent expert that he indicated he's going to be appointing, uh, has it, ha, will be tasked and, and is going to be tasked with looking for um, uh, gaps that exist within uh, the current framework to further strengthen it and to to recommend how to properly go about um, dealing with this information so that we can keep the politics out of it but still allow Canadians to feel an, an assurance in uh, the, the, the democratic system that we have in place. I think the Prime Minister made an excellent point towards the end of his uh, news, news conference when he said, you know, our institutions need to outlast every single politician that currently exists right now. We have, should have a vested interest in a nonpartisan way in ensuring that the institution that we rely so heavily on is maintained well into the future. But why can't the Canadian public be the arbiter? And let it be done in the open. Because there are some parts of the manner in which we collect information, the manner in which we analyze information, the manner in which we share information with our, our uh, allied uh, countries that um, it will, will uh, be to our disadvantage, that will hurt Canada if that information becomes public. So it's very, uh, you know, the, the manner in which the information is handled has to be handled very carefully. And so, um, you know, the, the opposition has called repeatedly for a a more public inquiry. Um, we've said that the best place for this to occur would be behind uh, the the the, the uh, national the NSICOP committee. Um, and na I mean, it's, in, it's in Canberra. <laughs> yeah. well, nobody, no, nobody have access that, to that. That, that, <laughs> that, is, that is, that's absolutely fair. But this is what the experts are telling us: where the information needs to be handled. Okay. Now, Let me I will say that that NSICOP committee does produce reports that are tabled to Parliament. Um, I'm sure that Mr. Bullaris and other uh, uh, MPs read those reports when they come forward. So we do get those reports uh, from committee and they share with us their outcomes and how they determine those. Okay, Mr. Bilodis then, where does this leave opposition MPs like you? As you said, you're, you are wanting more. That's not what you're, you're getting yeah. here. Yeah. Is opting out of the National Security and Intelligence Committee an option if your party wants more? No, 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 no. We, we, will, we will still work on that committee. We'll still uh, get involved and do our, our work. You know, it's, it's, it's important uh, uh, for, for the NDP and a lot of, of citizens in this country, but you know, the uh, and uh, an independent expert or a special reporter is a is a good thing. You know, it's a step in the right direction. But why not having an independent inquiry? But the, the problem that we have today with those half measures is that will it be enough to answer uh, the questions of of Canadians that are really worried about you know maybe the implication of China, Russia, or other states or other organizations that could via uh, social media influence uh, you know our, our debate and, and the result of our of our elections you know when it, it, if everything is still in in camera or secret 
I'm, I'm not sure it will reinstate the, tr the trust of, of Canadians. But, but okay. if, if I may... Very quickly, Mr. Garrison, if, if very I'm, quickly. If I may, this doesn't necessarily mean that the, the results that are produced are going to stay in camera. I mean, recommendations will still come forward regardless of the form on how we can strengthen our democracy and strengthen our protection against foreign interference that we will then um, be able to ensure that Canadians know about. So, I mean, there is, uh, you know, a lot of uh, public knowledge that comes about from these, okay. these committees' work. Mr. Gerritsen, sorry to cut you off there, but really thank you for the time. Mr. Belides, thank you as well for uh, joining us tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Now, we also want to note that we invited Conservatives to take part in tonight's panel. No one was available.